Hey there everyone and welcome back to the JTS Wargaming channel. So glad to have you guys here today. I've got something really awesome to share with you guys. Uh, so I don't know if anyone remembers way back uh, at Adepticon this year, Corvus Belly, the makers of Infinity, had announced that they were working with a new partner uh, to deliver a brand new uh, miniatures board game uh, based on their IP in the Infinity universe. Um, so that partner was Ramper Design, and I had never heard of them before. Um, and I've been wargaming, you know, since I was in high school many, many moons ago. So I, I know I can't be familiar with every single company that's out there, but I had heard literally nothing about the company. Um, so I started doing some digging, doing some research, and found that a couple of years ago they had a very successful Kickstarter uh, for a rugby miniatures board game called Takare. Uh, so I was trying to look around online, see if I could find it anywhere, and kind of ran into a, a brick wall. Uh, but then I decided, hey, let me see if the, the company has an Instagram account. So I was able to find them. I reached out, uh, had a bunch of questions for them, and they sent me a copy of the core box to review for everybody. Um, so thank you so much to uh, Ramon and the team over at Ramper uh, for sending this out for me to review. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about Takare. Uh, so what is it? So like I said before, it's a miniatures uh, rugby board game. Uh, it's a very similar in style to uh, Blood Bowl, if anybody's familiar with the, the GW uh, product, or if anybody remembers Dreadball uh, from Mantic Games. Similar concept. Uh, where, you know, you're representing a sports game on a two-dimensional board uh, using three-dimensional miniatures. However, this game, from what I've seen, uh, just flipping through the rulebook, I haven't had hands-on time with the game yet. Just literally, I'm just unboxing it today for you guys. Uh, but from what I've seen uh, poking around in their Discord and watching some videos uh, for myself... This seems to be a really, really different beast from the likes of Blood Bowl, from the likes of Dreadball. It's very, very accurate to the spirit of rugby, just translated into a board game format. So if you really love rugby or you really love cyberpunk, stay tuned. You're definitely going to want to check out this game. All right, so before we get started, uh, do me a big favor. Go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my content. Uh, also, make sure you ding that notification bell. That way, you'll stay in the know whenever I drop new videos. Uh, but let's get into this. So what is Takare? So uh, where they differ from traditional rugby is that your teams are only teams of four. Uh, so in the setting, which um, I do want to highlight that they did create a, a very interesting world that this takes place in, uh, essentially humanity has uh, congregated into these towering sort of Judge Dredd-esque uh, hab units that like, reach up into the stratosphere everybody is literally stacked on top of each other and as a means of population control uh the government created this game takare uh which essentially is just modified rug rugby modified so that you could play it in a small arena um and then it's ultra violent so everybody who plays at a high level is probably cybernetically enhanced. Uh, you've also got really, really interesting things like teams being, you know, funded by certain mafias uh, or the government, 
or even a police unit um, for one of the teams. Um, so it it's a very, very cool cyberpunk setting that takes place uh, around the game. And that allows for your players on the pitch to have tons of flavor and like the, the miniatures are incredible. We'll show those off here in a minute. Um, but yeah, so that is Takare in a nutshell. Now this video is strictly just going to be the unboxing of the core box. I want to show you everything that you're going to get if you were to decide to pick that up. Now they do have um, other teams available. So in the core box, there are two teams included. Uh, the Yamato team, which is sort of Japanese themed, and then the Terriomorphs. Uh, which are, um, actually, I don't really know how to explain the Terramorph. So they're cybernetically enhanced, and then all of them gear their enhancements toward, like, looking like a specific animal. Um, and then, you know, they sort of take on the characteristics of said animal uh, while they play. Um, but you have other teams. So there's a Hawaiian team called the Islanders, I believe. You have a team of sort of punk kids that are into street racing called the Durican. And then there's another team available, uh, which are essentially, you know, a police unit, uh, that also plays rugby, which is hilarious to me. Um, so... There's lots of content available out there for the game. Um, I do also want to call out that the game is heavily supported by Ramper. Uh, they run an official Discord channel. Um, I'll see if I can get a link to that in the description of the video, but if not, um, if you go on their website, they have all of their links there, um, and you'd be able to join their Discord from there. They actually uh, fully support uh, Tabletop Simulator. Uh, so you're able to try the game before you buy. Uh, and then they also run uh, regular leagues and tournaments for the game, both in person and uh, via Tabletop Simulator. Uh, so they're really, really um, in touch with their community and like that community piece you can really tell is a really key part of how they run their company uh but i've been rambling long enough you guys want to see in the what's in the box i want to see what's in the box so let's go ahead and head over to the wooden table behind me and we'll go ahead and get everything unpacked all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at everything that comes inside the core set uh, for Takere. So down here on the table, I've got your two coach dashboards. Uh, so these are double-sided. Uh, so the yellow side is meant to be for the Terriomorph team. And then the red side is for the Yamato team. Uh, but you have slots, one slot for each position uh, on your team. And you can keep your cards and your tokens, uh, your ball token to see who has control of the ball. And then they have handy little slots off to the sides uh, for you to keep your deck and your discard piles. And then next, we've got our token sheets. Oh, moving things around. So we've got our movement tokens, our ball scatter, uh, we've got uh, some more movement tokens and then our condition tokens. And now these are double-sided. And actually this is double-sided as well, but doesn't quite matter as much. And then next, our match counter or match dashboard. Uh, so this will tell you what half you're in and then uh, how many rounds you have before you're done for that half. It also has your victory point tracker off to the side. You're also gonna get a full color rule book and we'll take a look at this down at the desk in a moment. You're gonna get your deck of cards that you need to play the game. 
And then in this magical little box, you're going to get all of your miniatures. Uh, so you're going to get two full teams in the box, the Terrio Morph team and the Modder team, all of your bases that you need, and your dice. All right. So, oh, almost forgot the most important part outside of the miniatures, of course, is your pitch. So on this side, you've got sort of like a street ball, you know, pickup game kind of environment. And then this is double sided so that when you flip it over, we'll grab it from this side. You get the official Takare arena design, which looks pretty, pretty slick. Very, very cyberpunk. Uh, but yeah, so let's go down to the desk. I'll go ahead and show you guys the miniatures up close. We'll get those assembled and then we'll take a quick run through the Roblox. All right, so let's talk about my favorite part of the box and that is the miniatures. Uh, so here I've got the uh, first team uh, that's included in the core box and that is the Terriomorphs. Uh, so as you can see, I've got all four players uh, assembled along with their uh, unit cards and we'll go ahead and take a look at them all overall i am pretty impressed with the sculpts uh, so as you can see they're made in white metal uh, lots of really really crisp chunky detail all of the sort of cybernetic parts of the miniatures which uh for a lot of these guys is going to be most of them uh, will take things like speed paints and contrast paints really, really well, uh, making these guys really easy to paint. Uh, so this first character is Cheetah. And you'll see the, the theme with this team. Um, all of the miniatures are sort of, uh, their helmets are stylized after animals. And then I'll quickly go through the anatomy of a stat card here so over on the left uh from top to bottom we have their movement statistic you've got their ball control uh their strength then their reflexes then their intelligence their protection and then their body stat up in the corner on the right you've got their position uh that they play on the pitch and then down here, you've got your uh, player skills. And then this number right here is the size of base uh, that the character is mounted on. For instance, with Cheetah, uh, her skill Cybertail allows for better balance. So she gets plus two reflexes on rolls to avoid being grounded. Uh, she's also got a second action called Sprint. Uh, so whenever she's activated, uh, she can gain a fatigue token to change its movement value to five slash three. So she'll get an extra inch of movement on her first move. So next up, we've got Eagle. And I gotta say, this is probably my favorite sculpt on the team. It's very sort of infinity inspired. Uh, and then since her namesake, you know, she's a bird of prey. Uh, that theme comes through very, very well. Um, again, great detail. All of the cybernetic parts, again, will take speed paints very, very well. And I'll hold her card up so you guys can get a better look at it. Looks like she's going to be the passer of the team. The next up, we've got Gorilla. And this is a super dynamic pose. Again, you know, great detail on all of those cybernetic parts. Incredibly well sculpted. It's going to be a joy to, to get this uh, team painted up. And then Gorilla's card. And then lastly, we've got Pangolin. Uh, which this was a very interesting uh, character to include 
um with this sort of cybernetic cape i kind of imagine him just like rolling up in a ball <laughs> and like tackling people and then his card all right so let me do a little movie magic and then i'll show you the yamato team all right, so here we've got the Yamato team, our Yakuza-inspired uh, Japanese-themed cyberpunk team. So first up, we have Karakuri. And another really great dynamic pose. Tons of detail, very well sculpt sculpted. Uh, nothing is uh, shallow. Should be pretty easy to get her painted. And then here's our card. Uh, so it looks like she's probably going to uh, be a big part of the running game uh, for the Yamato team. Then next up we have Hidoka. Uh, which this is going to be the passer for the team. Um, the one interesting note is that he's actually modeled with a ball, uh, which I don't have an issue with the model. The model looks very, very cool. Um, but seeing as how the ball, you know, gets passed around and everything, I would have probably have preferred, um, you know, the models not be modeled holding a ball, um, since in the game you get a ball token that you actually put on your dashboard. Uh, you never actually have the ball like on the field. Um, so maybe in the future, cool business idea, maybe do some alternate sculpts uh, where people aren't holding the balls and you can get like a more dynamic pose. That would be pretty cool. All right, so next up we've got Oyuroi, uh, who's got sort of a you know very samurai kind of theme going on. Really cool helmet, really cool armor. Really great sculpt there. Again, really nice hard edge detail. Uh, be pretty easy to paint with uh, some slap chop. Then here's his card. He's going to be the expert tackler of the team. And then last up, we have Yokozuna. Uh, who's a uh, cybernetically enhanced sumo wrestler. Um, again, really awesome sculpt. This guy's got a little bit more flesh uh, showing than the other guys. Uh, but his legs are actually, it kind of looks like his legs might be uh, cybernetic uh, replacements. Like, you really can't tell unless you look down at the ankle. But uh, really, really cool detail. I love the cybernetic arm here. And then his card. Right there. All right, so these next couple of models down here on the table uh, don't actually come in the core box. Uh, Ramper was kind enough to send me uh, a couple of promo figures. Um, and I still wanted to show those off just so that people had an idea of some of the other stuff that was available in the range, uh, as well as some of their promo stuff that you might be able to grab if you catch them uh, at a convention. Uh, so first up is this is actually one of the uh, players for the Durican team uh, that you can actually buy uh, that team on their web store. Uh, now, this model appears to be it, it's some sort of resin. It almost looks like Seocast to me, uh, the same thermoplastic that Corvus Belli uses. Um, but I absolutely love this sculpt. Uh, you know, he's like racing forward on his little hoverboard. They have the sort of like jet exhaust modeled uh, to connect him to the base. Just an awesome figure 
And then these two little guys are 3D ball tokens. Uh, so you get a you know cardboard token in the cord box, uh, but if you catch Ramper um, you know, at a convention, uh, you might be able to scoop up these 3D ball tokens. So this one is the sort of standard official uh, Takare ball. And then this one is the Ramper mascot, the little baby chicken, uh, which is hilarious. I love this. All right, so cards also play a part in the game uh, where you can play cards to affect, uh, you know, the situation on the pitch. Uh, so broad strokes, you have generic uh, cards, then you've got team-specific cards, and then of each type, you have individual as well as team plays. Uh, so I'm not going to go through all of the cards here. Um, when I, you know, do some playthroughs in the future, uh, we'll be able to show those off then. Uh, but you've got a nice thick stack of the generic ones, and then you've got a handful of individual and uh, team cards for both of the teams in the box. Now, in addition to that, uh, there is a set of these Tackley uh, character cards, uh, which just reading the the skill on the card, uh, I'm assuming that when somebody gets injured, this is sort of like your robot substitute player. Uh, they do have miniatures for this. I remember seeing in the Kickstarter, uh, but you don't get a miniature in the box, uh, but they do go ahead and give you the cards. I believe there's probably a token um, for you to represent Tackley uh, if you don't have the miniature yet. And then lastly over here, they have these handy dandy um, cards with your you know quick reference guide. So you get two of these, they're identical, in the box. And then on one side, uh, you've got your pass and reception modifiers. And then on the back side, you've got your activation steps that you go through uh, in each turn of the game. And then lastly, I did want to show off the rulebook um, just because I think it's very, very well done, very well laid out. Um, I'm not going to cover the rules in full in this video. Uh, once I make my how to play Takare video, I'll go ahead and link that uh, up in the cards for you guys. Um, but so page 12, they laid out the the rule book like a comic. Um, so everything is full color, uh, nice, big, you know, bright, easy to read call outs. Uh, they have lots of full color diagrams in here. Um, I will back up. So one thing that was really cool is even though they've got, you know, we'll call it 10 pages worth of background that they go through in the book, um, they actually managed to do an impressive amount of world building um, in a very, very short span of pages. So we've got this sort of uh, futuristic cyberpunk society that's like part you know, Judge Dread, where we've got everyone kind of like living in these giant hive world skyscrapers, kind of, uh, because we've completely ruined the planet. So the powers that be ceded control to, you know, mega corporations and in their infinite wisdom, uh, they pretty much decided that we needed to stack humanity on top of each other, take up as little space as possible and then just give the earth time to heal. Um, so you've got this very dystopian, um, you know, depressing society that they managed to build up in less than 10 pages. And then Takare was sort of the government's idea of, you know, how do you keep a poor, you know, destitute population enthralled to something and not rebelling against you? You give them an ultra-bloody sport 
uh, for them to watch and gamble on, uh, which is how we get Takare. Uh, but going through, you know, just flipping through quickly the rest of the rulebook, for people that aren't sort of familiar with miniatures games, they, again, have very detailed, bright colored diagrams showing you how to measure things and uh, what all the tokens mean and so forth. You get the little tackly callouts where essentially uh, as you're reading through the rule book, since it's laid out like a comic, um, they kind of break the fourth wall and you are a coach and then Tackley is kind of guiding you through managing your team for the first time. Uh, so it's very cool, very uh, funny, you know, light reading. Um, everything kind of just makes sense uh, when you read it. Again, I'm not going to go through the, the full rules here. I'll do another video for that. Um, but I did want to show this on camera. This rule book is absolutely amazing. And if you are interested in Takare, the rules are actually available for free on uh, the Ramper Design website. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description box. Uh, so if anybody's interested, you can read the rule book, uh, kind of make that decision if it's the right game for you. I'm actually super excited to get all of these minis painted up and uh, you know do that how to play video and maybe play a couple of matches. If I can get Tari uh, to agree to playing on camera. But uh, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much again to Ramper uh, for sending out a copy of the game for me to review. Um, it means the absolute world to me being, you know, a smaller YouTube channel. Um, you know, having someone actually trust me with their product to show you guys. Uh, so... Again, more Takare content to come. Also, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Ramper Design is working with Corvus Belly on a Karen's Fall. They did a uh, playthrough of a couple of turns uh, with um, the On Tabletop Beast of War uh, channel about a week ago. And that game looks absolutely awesome. I can't wait. They're going to be dropping that uh, via Kickstarter uh, early this fall. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that and keep your eyes peeled here for more Takare content in the future. See you guys later and keep slaying that gray.